There it is. I can just go over rocks like it's nothing. This is amazing. Hi guys, today we're going to go ahead and unbox the Vestar electric skateboard. This is an off-road skateboard, or also you can use it as a regular uh, electric skateboard. Let's go ahead and take a look. Hi guys, it comes in a huge box. It literally doesn't fit on my desk. So I'm going to just go ahead and unbox it here. And, uh, woo. This is something I've been waiting for. It comes with a bunch of accessories to change it to regular um, non-off-road board. Regular wheels and also a extra belt. Let me go ahead and show you that later. I did a lot of research into an off-road um, electric skateboard. It's got a, uh, it's actually a longboard manual. And an adapter. And wow, look at this. This thing is huge! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I love it. So these are off-road wheels and it's also belt-driven. You know when you go off-road, you'll want a belt-driven board because it's got so much torque and you're going through racks, gravel, sand, blah, blah, blah. You can choose the different colors. It's got these nice uh, hollowed out wheels. Let me just go ahead and take it out. And this is the board I've been waiting for because we'll go ahead and try it out in a little bit. But So wow! This thing is awesome. So let me go ahead and show you the back here. And you can see, even though it's belt driven, everything is enclosed in the middle. Look at how huge these wheels are. So this is the off-road version. And wow, really excited about this. So this is gonna allow me to go over a lot of gravel. Um, the reason why I got this, there's a, like a, there's sort of like a private beach that I can get to but you have to go through a bunch of gravel. It's very, very hilly. So I used my Boosted Mini S to go through it and it's just too much gravel and I would just spin out. So I couldn't make it all the way down to the beach on the Boosted Mini S. So with this one, hopefully I'm gonna be able to um, get down to the beach and we'll actually um, go there together to show you. But look at these giant wheels. So this is gonna be great for anybody who wanna go off-road. Also very nice enclosed design. There's nothing to get wet. So this should be pretty water resistant. You should be able to go through pretty much a lot of things. There's a huge clearance as you can see on the wheels. That's a huge clearance. So I'm really excited. And let me grab the remote real quick. We'll go ahead and just turn the motor on and see how powerful it sounds. And there is a, there's a power button on the side, which is great. So it's on, um, there is a charging port there. Let me go ahead and just power it on here. All right, power is on. Let's go ahead and accelerate. Oh my God. That is a ton of power. And it's got these nice LED lights. Let me put it like this. That is some monster power, baby! <laughs> and there's a button for reverse. That is really powerful. Now this is called the City SUV All-Terrain 38 um, Dual Belt Drive. It goes for $829 for the model with the bigger battery. They ha also have the smaller battery for $729. They do have 10% off for the end of the year. So I paid almost like around $800 for this. It's a dual motor 2000 watt. So it's got a total of 2000 watts. 1000 watts on this motor and 1000 watts on this motor. So it's a very powerful electric skateboard obviously. And it comes with all these different wheels. So I obviously chose uh, green. It is waterproof. All right, it looks very good. I really love it. I'm gonna go ahead and um, charge the battery. I'm not sure how much battery is left. So I need to actually charge the battery, but it looks very, very promising. And it's got button for uh, high, medium, low. So that's for, for, for beginners, if you wanna go advanced. That's a full power, wow! That's amazing. Let me go ahead and charge this, put it on the side. I'm really, really excited. And let me go ahead and show you the accessory that it comes with, which is probably another exciting thing about this one. So actually the number one reason I got this board is because the cost at $829 retail is cheaper than any other off-road electric skateboard out there. 
And best of all, you can go ahead and convert it to a regular street skateboard, e-skateboard, using the belt and the wheels provided. I don't really plan on doing that because since I got a Mini S, which can do plenty of that, but it also comes with extra, uh, all the wheels there. So this is a very versatile board. You could use it for off-road. Maybe in the winter, you're going off-road. Maybe in the summer, you can go ahead and swap it out for street, street wheels. So it's a very versatile board. Um, price is also very good. You get just as much power uh, or more than a boosted board and it's off-road, out of the box. This is amazing. So let me go ahead and charge it up and let's go take it for a test drive and go to my private beach and see if I can make it fully there without spinning out. We'll be back after the test drive. Hi guys, so um, this is my first test drive and this is a very gnarly hill. The first thing is we're gonna go up the hill and see how fast it goes compared to my Mini S, which is the fastest board I have. And I'm just gonna use advanced mode. These other modes, just not enough power. <clears throat> Wish me luck. All right, let me see. So not bad at all. Um, it's not as fast as my Mini S but it's still going up the hill nicely. I didn't charge the battery all the way also. Um, also this board has been not too bad. Yeah, not too bad, it's a little bit slower, but we're gonna go ahead and go down and see how well the brakes work. All right, so, that's a little scary. <laughs> That. So these hills are pretty darn gnarly. Not too bad. Stops real nice. So that's real good. It's a little jumpy when I stop. Not too bad. So definitely more power than my other uh, on park three that I got. Um, going this hill nicely. Now, I'm just gonna go a little slow because I just got this board. But we're gonna go ahead down to the private beach and see how smooth it is. Um, there's a lot, a lot of gravel and stuff that I don't like. This hill, this hill is super gnarly. So braking very good, very good power. I think the power has been limited going uphill, so that's why it didn't go up as fast. Uh, the ESC system, it doesn't really account for the really steep hills in like San Francisco and Daly City where I live. Um, but still fine, of course. The big thing I want is, can I get through all this stuff over here? There's all this crap road here. And hey, Papez. And we're gonna see how well it feels through here. Oh fudge, lost control there. So this is a really crappy road that I don't like. It is really fast on flat ground. All right, all this stuff, let me go through here. Wow, way smoother, going through some gravel. This, this is a lot of power at high, so I'm gonna put it on medium now. Wow. I'm just going through gravel like it's nothing. All right, a lot smoother than my other board. Not too bad. All right, let's go with the real hard area though. <coughs> okay, I'm on medium power because the high is way too fast in acceleration. So it's got a ton of power on flat ground. So it's really windy. I should have brought my uh, microphone uh, thingy here. It's real nice. this crap. 
crappy road like it's nothing. So much better than all my other three boards. But the real test is coming up here at the Muscle Rock Park. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, now we're on gravel. Uh, hello, puppy. Wow, this is awesome. This is like this is like where I was having trouble with the Mini S. Uh, I would like spin out, but I can pretty much go like full speed here. This is amazing. So we're gonna see if we can make it down the hill. There's also a really big hill. See if I can make it down without spinning out, which was also another problem with the Mini S. Wow, this off-road is just ridiculously awesome. I'm trying to angle this. So the wheels are working out real good for this. Perfect. Oh, now I'm gonna be able to go to the beach every day uh, using this board. I'm going kind of fast over here through all this gravel. This is still at medium. I'm not even going at full. It's real jumpy. I'm just going through all this gravel. It's like nothing, yo. Go ahead and try to stop. Stops real nice on the dime. We'll go ahead and uh, go down this little hill here and see how well it goes. I'll try to point the camera behind me. Let's go ahead and try it. The hills are just the scary part because with the regular board you'll spin out. Obviously the wheel's not designed for it. But I'm gonna go ahead and slightly break here. Not too bad at all. It's a little iffy, but again, this is my first time. I'm sure I'm getting better at it. Still not too bad at all. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure the camera's focused here. All right, here comes a real gnarly hill. Um, this is the one I was talking to you about. It's almost like a 30 degree incline. I'm gonna actually go ahead and try to put it on uh, low, no, medium climb. So I'm just braking and it's the the gravity of the uh, gravity is pushing me down actually here. So not too bad at all. I hope I'm. So I'm sure I'll go faster once I get the hang of it. I am slipping a little bit. There's a, a ton of gravel. It's a little wet today, but I made it through. Wow. This board is awesome. All right, here's another test. I'm um, slightly lower hills. So this time I'm just going to let the board go. Woohoo! Wow, this is amazing. I've got it uh, just, just going pretty fast over here. Woo! Oh fuck. I don't know if I capture all that. This is pretty amazing. Wow, I'm just going through gravel. This is the private beach I was talking to you about. 
Now this whole time I was able to make it from the top of the hill to this private beach without getting off my board. All right, wow. Look at this, pretty damn awesome. Very high clearance, just going through all this gravel. Now the beach is sort of closed right now. Uh, obviously the tide's high, but in the summer, tide will go lower and you can go down the beach. But let me go ahead and show you again all the stuff that I've been going through here. Look at this, I can just go over rocks like it's nothing. This is amazing. Look at all this gravel. I'm not even going full speed here. Now this is still a lot of workout. I don't advise uh, you to try this unless you're an expert. We're gonna go ahead and go up the hill again. on medium power. I might have to switch to uh, full power here because that hill is pretty nasty up there. Okay, oh actually I'm at full power. Alright, that hill is looking nasty. I'm going to try to make it up. I'm not sure I can. Oh, it's slowing down. I'm running out of power. So I might have not charged this thing all the way enough, but it can't make up this this last bit of the hill. I'm just letting it pull. I mean, this is a really steep hill. Um, but I'm pretty satisfied. I was able to make it all the way down without spinning out. The wheels definitely work. <coughs> so this is our real challenge, I think. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and test it further and let you guys know. Again, I didn't charge the battery all the way. That could be the reason. <sighs> but that hill's nasty. That's a nasty hill. <sighs> Hey guys, the rest of the hills are pretty small, so we should be able to make it up. So let me get back on this here. Sort of struggling there a little bit. Hopefully I can make up this hill here. Running out of battery. Yeah, this hill's pretty nasty. <laughs> Let's go up the rest of the hill, see if I can make up the rest of the hill. So I think this road, I can go up just fine. I think the amount of gravel there was a little too much for this board and the wheels. Um, maybe I can get another wheels for it. I'm not sure. Hello, puppy. But yeah, uh, on flat, gravel, you're just going like it's, it's like regular asphalt, it's crazy. Yeah, not too bad. Whew. 
that's pretty fun now let's go ahead and go back home uh, now i've got more confidence uh, since i went through gravel boy it's a lot of work yeah i think i didn't charge it enough i'm already running out of battery so i think that could have been another reason i got too excited and i didn't wait for the battery to charge all the way I'm just cruising through all this gravel stuff. -hoo -hoo. Now this is a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm just, oh wow. I can't do this on the Mini S. It would just shake too much. But the wheels are real good. Pretty satisfactory for right now. Again, you can switch it out for uh, regular street wheels too. But yeah, this feels a lot better going through all this crappy road. If you live in the country where there's a lot of crappy road, this is gonna definitely work out for you. I'm running out of battery. Not sure if I'll make up the hill. The hill's kind of nasty over here. I hope I don't run out of battery. Oh, I'm getting tired. Yeah, I'm on like the last bar. I didn't charge this. I think that's a problem. Not too bad. Still made it up. Woohoo! On one bar of battery. Yeah, it's going a lot slower than earlier in the same hill. So definitely I'll have to redo the test. I don't think I even charged it even 50%. Um, yeah, we'll go do the test again, but I made it back to my house. Anyway guys, really loved my new e skateboard. This thing just hauls ass. Um, really love it. I'll have a full review of um, this electric skateboard after I review it. Have a great day. And as always, stay on e-skateboards. Click here to subscribe.